Hey everyone, I'm Travis Guillory in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with Chef Valerie from OU Culinary Medicine. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me here. Of course, we love it. So we definitely are focusing on unhealthy options for, mm -hmm. for families and, and something easy that families can, can cook at home that doesn't take a whole lot of extreme effort or time. So what are we going to be making today? So this is a black eyed pea salad. Um, you could absolutely substitute other beans for this. Um, and also, if you wanted to use fresh or frozen, that would actually be a great option too. Um, but these are canned. And so these have actually been rinsed. Um, they're in a colander, rinsed underwater, and that removes about 50% of the sodium from these vegetables. Okay, so these are just going to go right in and as well as two ounces of canola oil, three ounces of red wine vinegar, and that's gonna be a lot of our seasoning for the dish. This is just super easy. I already have the vegetables chopped. We have uh, red pepper. You can see that green or yellow or whatever color of pepper you wanted. You could even change it up and put some mild green chilies like poblanos. Yeah. We have some red onion, but again, white onion, yellow onion, green onion, it doesn't matter. Um, just wanna get that flavor in there. Yeah. Chopped garlic. Okay, that's going right, whoops, right into the dish, as well as some chopped tomato. I'm going to give this a quick stir. And like you said, what's really good about this is that it doesn't need to be exact. It it's, doesn't. Especially when it comes to the vegetables because you can't really ever have too much vegetables, I would assume. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then, you know, we have used um, the fresh tomato just because of the season. But if this is wintertime and you want to use canned petite diced tomatoes, absolutely do that. Yeah. So we're going to measure out our salt. I'm going to put half of a teaspoon of kosher salt in here. We want to measure it because we want to control the amount of sodium that's going into our dishes. Right. And about a half a teaspoon, excuse me, a quarter a teaspoon of ground black pepper and then a half a teaspoon of cumin. And don't be turned off by buying the herbs and spices. Sometimes people can think that they're a little expensive. Uh, the cumin goes a long way and this is like $1.30 at the grocery store if you get um, the right brand. Right, and, so, and most people have salt, pepper, and cumin and, and yes. very simple basic spices yes. already in their spice cabinet right now. That's so. right. And so on the recipe, we give a lot of substitutions and additions and one of those things is to garnish with green onion, which is what we're gonna do right here. So just some slices of green onion on the top. And as far as the vinegar goes, I use red wine vinegar, but you could absolutely use apple cider vinegar, lime juice, lemon juice, but switch up those acids for the vinaigrette just to give it some different flavors. Yeah. And these are gonna go right on top. And it also makes it nice too, because then you have a nice little pop of color as well. Right, it's beautiful. I know, right? It's, but it's not necessarily about the presentation, more about what's actually in it and all fresh or, or frozen, which is another good option, like you said, to, right. to substitute that mm -hmm. for uh, with those dishes. So thank you so much for coming in, Chef Valerie. I appreciate it once again. Chef Valerie from OU Culinary Medicine in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. I'm Travis Guillory. Have a great day, everybody.